Hey everybody! The 1.6 change log can indeed seem overwhelming, but don't you worry, because I got you covered on the major stuff is that you need to know about Stardew Valley's 1.6 update. So without further yada yada, let me break it down for you. Number 1. Festivals There are two new festivals and two mini festivals added in version 1.6, and those are Calico Desert's 3-day festival, Environmental Festival, Trout Derby, and the Squid Fest. We can call these fishing events as mini festivals because there are no games and time limit for these within the day. You'd be able to fish all day and claim rewards when you reach a certain number of catches. For the two major festivals added, they have a set time, new mini games and challenges, and a lot of free and redeemable stuffs. Most of the existing festivals also change starting year two, packed with new dialogues, mini games, and even new rewards. Take this for example. The Spirit's Eve has a new and bigger maze. Number 2. Skill Stats and Combat A mastery system is introduced where we can unlock a bunch of new craftables and traits. We can gain mastery stars by doing skill-based actions like farming, mining, foraging, chopping trees, and digging. Just head over to Grandpa's secret lair which can be found a bit south of Leia's cabin. And you'll see 5 different perks that you can claim using your mastery stars. These perks vary so widely, from buffs to anvils, and many more. I'll discuss more about this on a separate guide. But in addition to mastery, we can also improve our skills and even gain special powers by reading books. There are 19 books added, and these give XP for our skills or give other stats like movement speed, ability to see the prices of our items through our inventory, and the best of all special power is the ability to buy from Marnie's shop even when she's not present. Oh, and you know Marnie, she's always not present. Those books can be bought twice a week from the bookseller or can be found in hidden areas, bought from special events or NPCs, and many more. The bookseller also has a schedule that you can check through the calendar, so make sure to save up some gold before they arrive. For their station, you can find them above Glint's house. For combat, weapons that are found on the wild now has the chance to come with a basic innate enchantment that we can reroll at the forge. Number 3. Farm and Resources There's this new farm called the Meadowlands where crops have a hard time growing but this has blue grass that animals love. This farm type comes with a free coop, two chicks, fences, and a lot of blue grass. It is perfect for anyone who wants to be a rancher. But whether it's better than our original farm types, that's for another video. So maybe don't forget to like and subscribe for more Stardew Valley guides. But anyways, we also have 4 new crops and 2 giant crops and these are carrots, summer squash, broccoli, and powder melon. You can get them from prize tickets and digging, but the 100% sure way to get them is by doing the raccoon quest. You will need hardwood to restore the giant tree beside Marnie's ranch, and then after a few days, a hungry raccoon will show up. Give him what he needs, and then he will find a wife, which will then unlock their special shop. And that shop is where we can buy the seeds. But you might want to check back on the raccoon again, because he will ask for more food, and then he will make a family. Helping them will continuously expand their shop. For more new seeds, we have a mixed flower seed. It's like a mixed seed, except that it grows flowers, obviously. And another one is a mystic seed that you can get from Mastery. This tree can be tapped, and it gives mystic syrup which can be used for crafting. Fruits and mushrooms can also be dried now using a dehydrator. You can buy the crafting recipe from the general store for 10,000 gold. And it also comes free if you started a new save and choose the mushroom cave option. And speaking of mushrooms, there's a new item called Mushroom Block that produces mushrooms just like the ones from the Mushroom Cave. We also have new resources which are moss and mossy seeds. Moss can be gathered from old wild trees that you don't cut and they also have a chance to drop mossy seeds. This grows into a full-grown tree that you can tap and then it will give you ferns. Oh, and if you ever regret where you place your tea bush or your fruit trees, well, great news for you because you can now chop them and get the saplings back. The last one for farming are tool upgrades. The copper pan can now be upgraded to iridium and an iridium site can now be obtained through mastery. Number 4. Animals After maxing out your pet's hearts, pets will sometimes poop out gift for you. And we can also put hats on pets now. Marnie will also inform you that you can now adopt more pets. This comes with two new cat breeds, two new dog breeds, and two turtles. 
But you also need to ask Robin to build another outdoor water bowl before adopting more pets. If you ever regret your decision and want your pet gone, then you can always buy a butterfly powder from Krovus in order to remove your pets. Monitoring animals is also a lot easier now as we now have an animal tab that shows our animal status. Oh, and Meadowland farm types aren't the only ones that can get blue grass by the way because a blue grass starter is available for Mr. Key. Number 5. Fishing There are also a lot of improvements on baits as we can now buy fish-specific baits from Willy or make them using a bait maker. Deluxe baits can also be bought from Willy's shop and this bait makes it so much faster for the fish to bite. We can also upgrade our worm bin into a deluxe worm bin that produces deluxe bait instead of common ones. There's also a new bobber called Sonar Bobber which shows what fish is on the line before we even catch it. And there's also a bobber machine at Willow's shop for selecting cute styles. Along with this are new types of jellies from the sea, river, and cave. And fish can now be smoked using a fish smoker whose recipe can be bought from Willy for 10,000 gold. Or you can also get it for free when you start a new Riverland farm. Last one on fishing is that we can now add pearls, chests, and anchors on our fish tanks. Number 6. Designs For character and house designs, I am so happy to tell you that there are 25 new hats, 200 new furniture, 41 new floor styles, 24 new wallpapers, and 4 new cabin variants for us to choose from. There are also catalog sets like a wizard catalog for witches and wizard furniture, and even a Joja catalog for anything Joja. There's also mannequins now that we can dress however we want to, and interacting with it quickly swaps our outfits. The mannequins can be bought from Sandy. Spouse portraits are also available from the traveling merchant once you've finished your 14 hard events. And the biggest addition to designs are house renovations. There are four new areas that we can expand through Robin's shop and they add so much space, perfect for the hacking lot of new furnitures that were added. Number 7. NPCs NPCs are given more dialogue, custom gift reactions, dynamic dialogues where they react to an event that just happened, like for example, you winning on a festival, and NPCs are also graced with new winter outfits. When starting a new game, Emily will also give you some socialization daily quests. Number 8. Others Reaching perfection is much easier now as there's a new golden parrot that you can pay to find all the golden walnuts and the perfection waiver to skip perfection challenges. New rewards can be obtained from the prize machine, a new machine added to Lewis's house where you can collect rare prizes. Mystery boxes are also available and it gives random items and books. There's a bigger chest now too whose space is nearly twice as large as the original chest. There are also text signs that we can type on and tent kits for sleeping on the road. But sadly, it's only a one-time use. Fireworks are also available at Mr. Keys and the Traveling Merchant. Additional reward chests were also added to floor 200 and 300 of the Skull Cavern. The slime hutch is also smaller now. And lastly, we can now drink mayo. Uh, no further questions. But that's about it, folks. Don't you just love how passionate Concerned Dave is with Stardew Valley? I really, really like how he still updates it for free, even after all these years. And I also can't pick which one was my favorite new thing added. But what about you? Which one was your favorite new addition to this major update? Let me know in the comments. Also, super thanks to my lovely channel members for your kind support as always. And also thanks to Alex for this lovely tea set. Ooh -hoo -hoo. And to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more Stardew Valley videos coming your way. Bye-bye!